list of things that need to be done with a timeline attached. It's the first time that the chamber has been so bold. And while that body certainly has no oversight or control over any government, Vasquez says that they are now going to be involved every step of the way. We have submitted a scorecard where they would have to literally identify on a scorecard, like a report card, as to what are the topics, the pillars that they have agreed to, and what are the timeline in, in matter of weeks that they would implement it if they are back in, 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 into, um, in, into office. And we have also notified them that that scorecard will be publicized to the public between now and, now, now and November. But that is about all it is. I mean, just letting them know that the chamber will be holding you accountable for certain pillars. Well, yes. I mean, all we can do right now is to, to put the points forward to them, to see what commitment they can give us. And, of course, after, after November 4th, um, November 4th, whoever's government then, um, we then continue to see how serious they were. And we will certainly not stop at this point. Whenever the new government or any government takes over, we will then continue to, to push our agenda with them. Both the opposition and the Belize Progressive Party were speakers at the chamber's business mixer on Wednesday night. The Prime Minister was not, and that's why he met with chamber representatives today instead. Today's